You can also add audio files separately inside of Adobe Premiere Rust. So over here, I got a bunch of videos, but there's no audio um, in them. So what I can do is I can go around and add in uh, background music right here. So to do that, you can press the plus button right here. And here you can see audio is an option. So if I were to go around onto audio right here, then you can see that you can choose from one of these audios that you see right here, or you can click on browse audio and then you can go around and select different options right here. So I'm just going to go around and select soundtracks and you can see that you get different soundtracks right here. As you can see on sound effects, you see different sound effects and loops as well. So I can use these as well, but I'm going to go around and use the audio stored on my computer itself. So I'm going to go to add media and then I'm going to go to your media right here. So once I do that, what I can do is I can go to the media browser and then I can go around over here onto, let's say my uh, drive right here. And then I'm going to go around onto audio. So once I do that, I can select out an audio that I want right here and click on add right here. And you can see that the audio file has been added over here. So once that is done, you can see the audio track over here on the audio layer. And if I were to press the play button, you hear out the audio. And if you want to control the audio, you can double click on the audio, change the clip volume right here, just like this, and then the audio level has been decreased. And this is how it works. So that is how you can work around with the audio, um, uh, audio and then import out audio and then edit out the import audio, imported audio inside of Adobe Premiere Rush. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.